my friends, Christine here from Spotted Horse Design Company, and I'm sitting here in my a tiny off-grid cabin in the woods, and I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. It is 90 degrees outside, and I am positively melting in here. I have zero AC, okay? I do have six windows all the way around, and they are all open right now. My dog's tripping over stuff. I do have a lot of shade here. My cabin is never in full sunlight, which is really nice. I always have a nice cross breeze going, but I also have a box fan that does help with hot days like this. But unfortunately for this video, I cannot run it because you wouldn't be able to hear what I'm saying. So I'm just going to be sweating all the way through this video. It's going to be great. So let's talk about yarn. So today I'm going to talk about one of the most important things when it comes to making crochet blankets, and that is the yarn. So for me, there are several things that come into play when choosing the right yarn for a blanket. So let's talk about some of those first, and then I will get into my list of my top five favorite yarns for crocheting blankets. So the first thing that I look for is how easy is it to care for? Can I wash it and dry it? Okay, I want simple. I want to be able to machine wash it and machine dry it. Your preferences may look different than mine. If you don't mind hand washing or line drying, then you probably have a lot more options when it comes to choosing yarn. But just make sure you're always checking that yarn label so you know ahead of time before you buy the yarn, what you're getting yourself into as far as the care goes. So that brings us to the next factor that I take into consideration when I'm purchasing yarn, and that is the fiber content. So fiber content is very important when you're choosing yarn, especially if you're crocheting a blanket for a specific season. Like I live in the North and I know it doesn't look like it right now, but we have what seems to be endless months of freezing cold and snow and ice in the winter. So I tend to go for bulkier and heavier weight yarns when I'm choosing yarn to crochet a blanket. Now, of course, on the opposite end of that, if I'm wanting to make a blanket that's just going to be a nice light summertime throw, I might choose like a cotton or a cotton blend yarn. And then one other thing that's very important when it comes to fiber content is allergies or sensitivities. Now, I personally do not have any allergies or sensitivities, so I don't usually have to worry about that, but I do know a lot of people struggle with allergies to wool or other types of fibers, so you definitely want to make sure that you are double checking those yarn labels before you make a purchase. Something else that comes into play for me is my budget. So when I'm making a blanket, normally I am purchasing far more yarn than I would for most, most other projects like a scarf or a hat or whatever. So when I can find them, I usually try to buy like those mega skeins, you know, those really, really big skeins of yarn. I'll either try to buy some of those or what I've noticed is that lionbrand.com will put their yarns on sale every few days. So if I'm filling up my online cart and I notice that the yarn is not on sale, I just leave my cart because I know that they're going to put them on sale in a few days anyways. They have a regular rotation that they put their yarns on sale. Same with Joanne, same with Michaels. I always just wait for their sales or wait till I have a good enough coupon and then I will make my purchase. And then lastly is the availability of the yarn. So again, crochet blankets take up a lot more yarn and you want to make sure that all of the skeins that you are purchasing are from the same dye lot. I have unfortunately made the mistake of running out of yarn and then having to go back to the store a few days or a few weeks later and yes, they still have the same color there, but it's a different dye lot. And a lot of times it really isn't an issue, but every now and then the dye lots can actually be very different. And when you're working on a big project like a blanket, the differences in those colors will show up. Unfortunately, I know this from personal experience. So whether you're shopping online or you're shopping at your local yarn store, just make sure they have everything you need right then and there and you just grab as many skeins as you need maybe plus a few extras just in case that way you know everything is the same dye lot and you don't have to worry about running out to the store for an emergency trip so that's my personal criteria when it comes to picking out yarns for crocheting blankets now let's talk about my top five favorite yarns now these are in no particular order i love these all equally well i have w probably one favorite out of this list but really none of these are listed in any particular order okay so number one is Woolies Thick and Quick from Lion Brand. Probably the thing that I love the most about this yarn is that anything you make with this yarn is going to work up super fast because of how bulky it is. This is classified as a number six or super bulky weight yarn. Something else I love about this yarn is all of the colors it comes in from solids to multicolored skeins. There are just so many that you can choose from. So let me think about this. I want to say 
it's been about four years, almost four years ago now, I designed my fireside blanket using this yarn. And it continues to be one of my most loved patterns on my blog. So if you're looking for an easy and relaxing blanket pattern to make, be sure to check this one out. All right, so the next one, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know what I'm about to say, okay? My next favorite yarn is Hue and Me from Lion Brand. And I know that I said this list is in no particular order, but this one really is my hands down my favorite yarn ever. So this is a number five yarn or bulky weight yarn. And in my opinion, it is a tad on the thicker side for a number five, simply because all of the other number five yarns out there aren't quite as thick as this. However, this is still lighter than a number six yarn. And that's just the perfect, I, in my opinion, that's just the perfect blanket weight yarn. You'll still get a really nice soft blanket without it being too stiff. You know what I mean? This also comes in a nice variety of colors and I just love the particular hue, no pun intended, for this whole palette. So out of all of the blankets I've designed, most of them have been designed using this yarn. One of them being Grace's Bobble Blanket, which has been wildly popular ever since I released it. I also used it to make my farmhouse throw, which I gifted this one to my mother-in-law on Mother's Day. And then I made this modern arrow throw blanket using the arrow stitch. A more recent design is my harvest blanket, and I am absolutely in love with how this one turned out. And my most recent blanket pattern using this yarn is this waffle blanket, which has tons of texture and is super soft and squishy. So moving away from the bulkier weight yarns, let's talk about worsted weight yarn. So number three on my list of my top five favorite yarns is Heartland from Lion Brand. Sometimes I feel like it's hard to find a really good acrylic 100% acrylic yarn. Either they're too scratchy. The overall quality is just not that great. Heartland, on the other hand, has a beautiful drape and is perfect for making elegant afghans and bedspreads. And it also comes in a really wide range of bright and beautiful colors. So last summer, I designed my pine tree throw, which has these cute little pine trees made from bobble stitches. This is a nice lighter weight throw and very simple to make. And the pattern is also free on my blog if you want to go check it out. Another great worsted weight yarn is Color Theory, also from Lion Brand. When they first released this yarn, I could not wait to get my hands on it. And let me tell you what, I was not disappointed. So this is a 100% acrylic yarn, but it's not fuzzy and doesn't shed like other acrylic yarns. And the color choices for this yarn, now they're, it's not as large as the others, but I love that you can literally choose any color combo from this palette and somehow they just all work together. So I recently made a baby blanket for my cousin who just had a baby out of this yarn. And let me tell you what, it was the perfect choice. It's nice and light and it's not too bulky for the baby. Plus it washes really well. No fuzz, no pilling. Lion Brand really nailed it with this one, and I'm definitely going to be making more blankets with this yarn. And lastly, we're going to go back to the bulky weight yarns with this number five yarn from We Crochet called Brava. So this particular yarn comes in both worst weight and bulky weights. So the bulky version of this yarn really isn't too bulky in my opinion, and it's perfect for just working up your everyday crochet throw blanket. This comes in just about any color you could possibly want, so you've got a lot of options when it comes to choosing a color. I chose this yarn for my lakeside throw, which is made using tapestry crochet and features these blue diamonds on a white background. Again, even though this yarn isn't classified as bulky, I actually thought this throw came out as if it would if I had used worsted weight yarn. So that's it, my friends. That's my list of my top five personal favorite yarns for crocheting blankets. So now I want to hear from you. What's your favorite yarn? What do you like about it? Why is it your favorite yarn? Let me know in the comments below, and then I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!